Right, time for another Tetrix top tip. Today we're going to do the AC balling function of the machine. That bit right there. Um, so AC balling is a feature of this machine that will allow you to get a ball to tungsten without too much drama. Um, we'll go through the setup in a moment, but um, so we can zoom in here. Um, what we're using today is a nice uh, 17 series flex head CK, a nice one with a super flex cable. So yeah, pretty neat bit of gear. Um, and just got a standard setup in it. Standard setup with a normal style consumables. 2.4 zirconiated tungsten, 2.4 mil. Um, yeah, get it sorted. So back to the machine. So now over at the machine, we've got the um, machine obviously powered up. Uh, to do AC balling, we need to select this button here to get to the AC balling feature. And here we see a perimeter which is flashing, which is. Um, the parameters regarding the balling. So at the moment if we turn to the left you can see that this item is showing us that we are moving away from the preset value. Um, turning back up we see we reach a zero value and further on we would need to go back the other way. So we're just going to leave this at the factory set parameter of 33. Uh, then from there we'll uh, just use the, uh, a bit hard to see, just the bald little pointed tungsten there, which will become bald once we initiate this feature. So we'll get some gear on and um, give it a whirl. One other thing worth mentioning is that the current that the machine needs to bald the tungsten is relative to the tungsten diameter that you have inside the torch. So in this instance changing your tungsten diameter using this dial here you'll see it will adjust the current value which is needed for that balling. So at the moment we're going to put it down to a 2.4 tungsten which is what we've got. And you can see that's dropped down the, the value to 27. So it's worth mentioning that the adjustment here that we went through before is a plus or minus uh, 30 amps off the uh, off the preset value. So in this instance, we'll just keep it where it was. Um, obviously, 27 you can't go down to from you can't go to negative negative three amps, so we won't. Um, but yeah, from here it's just a matter of pressing the torch trigger and. Uh, that will be a high frequency start which will then commence the balling program. Um, yeah, we'll be doing this on a, worth mentioning, doing it on a scrap bit of steel, you don't do it on the job. So, uh, yeah, we'll get it cracking. Okay, so we're all geared up. Um, got our torch ready to ball, ball this tungsten. Um, this is a torch without a button, so I'm actually using a foot pedal for this one just to get the arc started. So, if you see a lack of uh, button pushing on this one, don't be alarmed. Alright, could be bright. This is really hard to see. Now that is a ball tungsten. I'll get some photos of it and uh, see if we can add them into the video. But yeah, uh, that's it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Set it to balling, select your tungsten size, generally maintain the factory setting unless you want to do something fancy with that and then uh, 
arc it up on a piece of scrap. Pretty simple. Enjoy.